I can't stop destroying my house for your entertainment. These are the best clips voted on by you. This is why you should all put a carrot in your wall. So what I really like about this is the editing to the music. It's just fun. I love this song. All right, so we can start to see who it is that it's going to be. I love working with these classic characters, but what about that carrot in the wall? I'm gonna show you what happens with that carrot. It's pretty cool. You have to be the most careful at this point, because this is where you could screw everything up. Just a little bit too much bleed. I That's exactly block. right. Like, you can almost mess up everything with the black layer, but it makes everything pop. Look at how cool this looks. Wow. And we switched out the carrot for uh, a fake carrot so that it wouldn't rot in my wall. I love this one. I had this on my list for a long time. Check it out. Can we just say that the music has this like Pirates of the Caribbean sort of vibe to it? Now the cool thing is with this, the way that the paint layered on each other, it actually created like a scaly texture just on the green, which was a wonderful happy accident because of course we are painting a mermaid. I think we gotta put some clothes on the mermaid, hang on. There we go, beautiful. Now again, the black makes everything pop. That's the final layer. You can start to see how good it's gonna look, but I want to surprise my daughters. They really hadn't seen it at this point. Hey, no get back there. <laughs> it's art. Whoa! Okay, so, uh, we knew we were going to change the light. Uh, sometimes you end up destroying more than that. But listen to the music and how much uh, it gives that Iron Man vibe right here. I had some friends do custom music so it would sound exactly like the Iron Man soundtrack. That looks epic. And... I found on Etsy a really cool heart of Iron Man, you know, the uh, arc reactor. We rewired this light. Here we Let's go. take this plastic thing off so we can see the whole thing. Freeze. Check this out. This frame right here, okay? So it turns out in the ceiling there was a stud because obviously there was a chandelier hanging from it. So we couldn't get the whole arc reactor in there. Well, luckily, if you really know my paintings, I had a painting upstairs on the wall. So what you're looking at right now isn't the ceiling. It's actually the wall upstairs because I wanted this shot right here. Yes. That shot is not in the ceiling. Just to get that arc reactor all the way into the hole, that's my wall upstairs where I previously painted Iron Man with the chest piece as a, a thermostat, a nest thermostat. And then we switched it for a thinner arc reactor into the ceiling. A little behind the scenes for you guys on that one. Mallet, hammer, it's a great way to knock holes in the wall. One of the number one comments from uh, overseas, people are like, are American houses made of paper? Uh, no, sheetrock, and it is quite easy to hammer through. Which Disney princess is this? This is another one where I was pretty happy with the music. It just sounds really cool. Uh, but I wanted to create a floating What effect. is that hole for? So also this one gets a special second stencil, but check this out. They have these cool bookcases where things can look like they're floating because it hides in the book like this, drilled into the wall, and now you don't even see a bookcase. So when you look at the right angle, it looks like Belle is really holding the books. That's my daughter Holly's bed and uh, the clock Cogsworth. Uh, she can't tell time, so we don't even use that. Okay, this music, listen. Obviously, we've got some classic Looney Tunes using the orchestral music that they were known for all the way throughout the 20th century. Now check this out. This is on a mirror. The cool thing with that is 
Uh, so it lives on the bathroom mirror that's right behind me, uh, actually. Uh, that's my daughter Haven helping me out. This is just one of my favorite Looney Tunes moments when Bugs Bunny rubs fertilizer on Elmer Fudd's head and makes it grow flowers. What a funny bit, but an even cooler painting when everything works. Uh, you can wash it off of a mirror pretty easily, but Bugs looks great here. Check this out. That turned out really cool. Another great... Another great way to destroy the wall. Just throw a bowling ball through it. Uh, we actually lucked out because a bowling ball and a basketball, a little bit different in size, but the bowling ball hole going all the way through means a basketball will go halfway through and stick. Now, this was a very graffiti style uh, for our Michael Jordan right here. So the painting is a little bit different than I usually do now. But check out where the basketball goes, and it looks 3 d like Mike is coming off the wall. Oh, I'll also give you a little bit of backstory. This ball right here. Done. It is time team signed ball by the whole team. It is signed by a whole team. It's not signed by the Chicago Bulls. But that, listen, it, it's, it's, painting looks great. Oh, this is my parents' house now. This is not my house. That's my dad's golf ball hit right into the wall. Uh, I was like, hey, Dad, can I do one of these paintings in your house? Uh, he was very kind to say yes. See if you can guess who this is. I love editing these things to the music, so it's oddly satisfying and fun. This was a cool design. Uh, that I did based off of a photo. Okay, we've got our hole, our wizard's broom, and our man. Okay, so this is the closet right next to the painting. There it goes. That's on the other side of the painting, so I can stick the broomstick through. Done. Golf ball becomes gold, and now check this out. And now our coats can hang on a hair. It's really cool. It looks wonky from other angles, and then when you get in the right angle, it looks like the broomstick is coming right out of the wall. What's happening there? We got a presidential portrait. Okay, this looks weird. Justin, what are you doing? Don't paint over the Mr. President. Adding a little bit of texture. Now, here's the truth of this. That's a fun presidential portrait. Very different than anything that's been done before. No matter your opinion on it, it reminded me of something else. Uh, another iconic image in the bushes and that is this guy. This is the last one. So now this one was really important to get those crisp lines because uh, this animation style, very crisp lines. But the cool part was to actually create a frame out of bushes like this. Check it out. Wow, look at how crisp these lines are. It ended up really cool. Uh, to have uh, the poster ending up there. Okay, so now I'm a big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, obviously, but I had this poster. I wasn't using it. I thought maybe there's another movie we could put over this. Yeah. At this point, you got to know who it is. That color scheme, that yellow zoot suit and hat. Uh, it's going to be smoking. Now, the hardest thing about this thing was uh, the stencil can sometimes get too sticky and peel things off. Uh, the purple goes so well with the yellow. Uh, so this is one that's it's hanging in my closet now. Smoking. Show us, man. Show us. Show us. The number one comment here is, uh, oh, yeah, that looks great. But what about the wall? I spray painted all over the wall. Yeah, and here I'm in a museum, but this one is different because instead of spray paint, because I can't destroy the wall, I'm using paint markers. Totally different way, but the cool thing is because of the layered stencils and the way that I work, it still works. Now these paint markers can actually soak up so much paint that if you just whip it at the canvas, it'll actually splatter some cool stuff. So now, take a look. You're going to see... 
Yep. Get that black on there. Uh, so this is my buddy's art museum uh, section that he's got. Uh, he was really nice to let me uh, destroy one piece of art to make a new piece of art. They're great for things like this. One, two, three. Boom. That was really cool. Uh, I love anything with Marilyn. Now, this has a surprise ending that uh, some commenter on YouTube said it was the biggest twist in all of YouTube shorts. It is quite a twist. Uh, this is in this crazy uh, section behind my wife's house. Uh, there's a whole bunch of trash. It's water overflow. What do they call that? It's a, it's a drainage uh, uh, aqueduct. Yeah, aqueduct. Okay? But we got a manhole cover in the aqueduct. Watch the manhole cover. This is where the surprise is coming from. Big surprise about this painting. Obviously, you don't want to litter. So what we did after we did this painting, we took a couple trash bags of all of that trash out of there. Hard to make a dent, but look at this. What? You can't paint on city property. It's a rug. That wasn't even a manhole cover. It was a rug. Here's my daughter. Uh, this is a cool denim jacket. We wanted to parody two things. That, that One that she loves and one that I love. We are not painting a Jurassic Park thing right now. Okay? It is not a Jurassic Park thing. Although Jurassic Park is what I love. Who's that silhouette? Who's that color right, scheme? This is the last guy that we it's my man Rex. Oh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, we should pull it off so it doesn't bleed out of the material. We want it to bleed. We're going to use some blue and give. So the cool thing is when you do this, it, it kind of creates a Technicolor thing on the fringe there. And that blue uh, makes it pop off of the denim, uh, which she was a big fan of. And she has her Buzz Lightyear right there. Obviously, we're making a cool homage to Toy Story. Show us. This turned out. Ready? Bam! Wow. Oh, man. Jurassic Park would be a friendlier place if the dinosaurs were Rex. Okay, so I had this unsightly um, pipe coming out in my uh, in my garage, and my wife said, "Can we do something about that?" And I said, "Yes." Now, obviously, growing up during the time period that I did, I had an NES Nintendo. Did you have Super NES or NES? NES, yeah, the original. Okay, we're not even talking N64 or any of this other stuff that kids got. I don't know any of that stuff. So this is the pixelated original Mario. And instead of getting rid of that pipe, I highlighted it, painted it green. And oh, he's looking really good. Coming right out of the pipe. It's Mario. And now you have to get right in the right angle to make it look good. But that is really cool. Now, this one also has a surprise ending. Because as the painting's coming together, try and make your guess as to what it is. I don't know what that is. That doesn't look like anything. Still doesn't look like anything. Don't know. Maybe that looks pretty weird. If you can guess, tell me in the comments if you get this one uh, right here. Now maybe it's starting to come together. This is at the point where some people are like, oh, the painting is up side down so now you can see okay see if you can guess what it is while it's upside down all it takes is a little flip and then you can see the goat right there michael jordan winning the championship hugging his trophy. it's cool i love that image of michael with the trophy i thought oh okay uh, so real talk, uh, my main guy who works with me out here in Las Vegas, my buddy named Russ, uh, that's his car. I can't believe he let me dis well, okay, I should say he didn't know I was going to, I didn't know I was going to destroy the windshield. I thought I was going to crack it because we've got Tiger Woods being painted right here. I'm going to show you the destruction again. It's about to happen. I thought it would be cool. I'm going to pause. Uh, I thought it would be cool to have the golf ball gag, you know, where it looks like it's cracked. And then I would hit it with my golf club and, you know, just 
crack the rear windshield. But what do they call that windshield? Uh, you know, it's safety glass. It looks a little yeah. Fake. Watch what it happens when you hit safety glass. Uh, you hit the glass. It's a with the problem. Ball. To add real cracks to make it look like the golf ball really cracked. Uh, yeah, you're the about to mess up, my man. Tiger Wood. We don't want to shatter the whole thing because then we'd lose. But we want this to look even cooler. We got to get that. Oh, crack. you're going to mess up. Oh, gosh. I thought tempered glass didn't shatter. No, it's not tempered glass. It's <laughs> safety glass. The only thing that didn't shatter okay. was the golf ball shatter. Okay. Uh, this is a laptop we use for my daughters. People are freaking out that I'm spray painting on a laptop. You can totally spray paint on your laptop. You just got to put a little bit of tape, a little bit of protective stuff over the ports. See if you can hear from the music who this is. I had to find vintage music that sounded like an old sitcom, like, um, who's to the moon, Alice? Uh, not the odd couple, yeah, right? Uh, honeymooners. Much, the Honeymooners, which guy. is and what Flintstones like is based off of. Uh, it's a, a it's an old thing of the Honeymooners. Really uh, if there's young people watching, I've totally lost you just talking about that. This is a really amazing laptop cover now. This looks really good. Show me. That's fun. That was really fun. That's me and that's my little girl. Okay, so here again, my buddy Russ's car. Uh, I've already destroyed the windshield, so I was like, can I dent your car? And he's like, uh, yeah, rear windshield, not the front. But uh, this, I wanted it to look like somebody had smashed into the side of the car. Who smashes into things better than anybody? Wiley Coyote. There's a silhouette. Now, the cool thing about this was to take an actual frame, a still from that Looney Tunes cartoon. This is where he painted the wall. Roadrunner runs through the wall. Wiley Coyote tries to follow him and smashes right into the wall. So, uh, yeah, my buddy Russ had a he, – he wasn't thrilled with the amount of overspray on this, but uh, still looks good driving around. You still drive it around? Oh, he says no. Running through a tunnel. Bang. That's fun. Okay, so here's my wife. She's in one of the beach chairs. I wanted to paint something on the other beach chair. She goes, yeah, cool. I'll just sit and watch a magazine. Uh, there's a fun Easter egg in this if you see uh, if, if you see the magazine that she's reading. There's no way you're going to be able to click in and see close enough the magazine that my beautiful wife is reading. But if you can, tell me in the comments because it's just a little fun Easter egg for some of my past. Okay. We've got Betty of Betty and Veronica fame uh, from the Archie comics. The cool thing was with the slats in this thing, it ended up, uh, oh, and then you can get a cool gradient of a beach to a sunset. Uh, but you don't get every part of the image because of the slats, but your eyes actually complete it for you, which is pretty cool. Look at that. Yeah, I did get in trouble. I, it, it's that classic blonde and brunette thing but this was the cheapest the cheapest easiest thing to get listen to the music our old west can you see what cowboy the cowboy is going to become taking one great cowboy clint eastwood turning him into another great cowboy iconic hat everything so that's my laser cutter this is giving you a nice behind the scenes of how these things actually work. So, let's see. Oh boy, we've just transitioned from cowboy into spaceman. Look at how cool his fist looks here. There's only one piece missing. Obviously, what we're doing here is a nice mashup of vintage western into star. And now I can show you Bud Boy Story in the background. That turned out really cool. I really love that. Okay, so this is behind my bar. It's still there, actually. If, I, if we were to just bring the camera right over there behind me. This was actually the hardest music to find to match this character. Because you're going to hear, obvious, or you're going to see who, what character this is. I wanted something, and I couldn't... 
I, I couldn't figure out what to make it work. Uh, but the piece of art ends up really cool. It looks even better in person. Let's see okay. it. Can you guess who it is? Oh, Did you mind. see it through there? Gentle. Hard on this. Okay. Willy Wonka, and we cleaned it up on the end so it ended up looking great. In fact, that's how it looks once we got new countertops in there. Now, this was a nice experiment. See if you guys can follow, because I'm doing two paintings at once. It's kind of intense. It's, it's a lot. Uh, I think one of the reasons this doesn't have as many views is because people were overloaded. So if you can follow along, stick with me. Because we've got two uh, of my daughter's favorite Disney princesses of all time. Absolutely. Uh, my daughter, Holly. She's an Anna girl. My daughter, Haven. Elsa girl. And they will fight over uh, which one's better all the time. Uh, so over Holly's bed, we get Anna. Over Haven's bed, we get... Yeah, you Elsa. Does it look good? Yeah. What do you think? Wow! You ready for yours? Here we go. Peel down slowly. You ready? Peel it down. She had a hard time peeling that off, but ended up it's really Anna. cool. I love that. They were pretty pumped about it. Uh, now, uh, check this out. Last one I'm showing you because this is cool. I wanted to create some harmony in this one. Uh, this is my car. It's an old Pathfinder. It is painted to look like a cop car. I find I don't get pulled over as much if you're painted to look like a cop car. Don't quote me on that. I mean, you can, but uh, uh, yeah, I haven't. Have I gotten a ticket since uh, my car was painted like a cop car? No. Uh, so, Obviously, we've got uh, two of the goats, two greats of all time, who uh, should have been friends, right? They were friends, and then they weren't, so we look how cool and now they're. To look. White is going to be some nice highlight. Pretty yeah. Much done. We just need to give him a little bit of highlights on his cheek. So now the cool thing is uh, Mr. Biggie, nice he is like ultra colorful, everything like his personality. Boom, we get Tupac that. popping out, and then we get. King Biggie right there. That lived on the back of my uh, car for a good amount of time. Okay, now here's the deal, guys. I keep destroying things for art, for your entertainment. This is some of the best ones as voted on by you with your views on the YouTube Shorts feed. If you want to see more videos like this where we get to just hang out for 20 minutes and look through just the best, moving fast, uh, and hearing some behind-the-scenes information, comment below. If you're just finding this video randomly and you don't know who I am, but you like some of that art and you like me destroying my house for you, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.